What's going on guys, it's Jacob here with Woodsy RC and Reds RC Raceway. So today, I'm gonna do a quick video, a little run video with my TRX4s and this new Enjora trailer that I got. So I ordered it a while ago, I've done some runs with it and stuff like that. But um, what I wanted to show you how it fits, it fits really well and my Bronco, you know, is a lot wider and it still fits with those mods. Uh, it pulls really good. It's quite a bit heavier than I thought it was gonna be. And for it to hook on, you gotta take the hitch part off and kind of redo it just a little bit. Uh, they send you the hardware that goes with it and you just stick that screw through uh, the hitch that came with the TRX4 trailer, TRX4M trailer and you just stick it through there, screw that this trailer on, and put a lock nut on the bottom of it. And it, it does really good. It's kind of a pain to get on and off, so I just kind of leave it hooked up to this one. I wanted to go through a couple of the mods that I've added on my Bronco and the Defender. Uh, as y'all can see, you know, she's pretty kitted out with Enjora wheels and tires and stickers. And uh, I actually put the spare stock tire on the back of this. And over here too um the bottom of this one is pretty well upgraded i've had my driveline components they broke on me so i replaced it with the metal and drawer ones and y'all have seen a bunch of this other stuff that i put under here uh the high clearance link it links that are uh metal and now i got the skid plates on there um i got the flex blades on mine as well yeah, Racing Metal Gear Servo. I have the lock kit on mine, which I will have, when we do the running video, I'll have all my stuff on. That's basically about it. Oh, I do have the uh, Endura front metal uh, steering linkage here and metal servo horn. It's pretty heavy. It's actually really heavy compared to what it was. It's so heavy that this, that this doesn't want to pull like up steep hills and stuff there's not enough weight this is this should be pulling this but you know it's okay only thing this has got done with it is the yeah racing servo just like that one and this one has these endura all-terrain tires with these wheels the trailer hooked to it of course so guys i'm going to get all the batteries hooked up get us outside and we are going to just drive around the driveway and Hit a couple cross spots and you know, I'll show y'all how this uh, trailer works hauling a load and getting pulled behind another TRX4M. One more quick thing before we start that the video this week was going to be on my buddy's uh, Losi. I think it's a Tenacity DB Pro, but um, I've seen it run quite a few times. It is insanely durable. My friend loves to just rip it crazy and uh. We drove it in, at the track. I was going to drive it again at the track today and put a little video out on it, but it's been raining. So, I'm going to try to get a video out for it maybe next couple of weeks along with a video with uh, that slash right there. All right, guys. So, we're out here. The driveway. Like I said, we're not going to do it too crazy because... Um, I don't really think a base TRX4M with just tires and wheels is going to pull the trailer and the Bronco, but we're going to make a few circles here. I'm going to kind of show you what I have seen driving it. So you can see like just down on pavement where it gets good traction, I have no problems. So you can see where where it doesn't get as much traction as it does on the pavement. It kind of wants us to spin and turn the whole truck instead of staying planted and pulling the trailer. Let's 
try to crawl up this little spot up here beside this basketball goal. And you can see it's already hung. Why is it hung? It's just heavy. Hung on that stick right there. I'm gonna take the Bronco off. a little bit better trailer's still really heavy Let's see if we can get back up on the pavement we did so it's a great trail rig is all really if you're just going on flat ground dirt stuff like that perfect but any kind of serious crawling hill climbing type stuff it's not the greatest I'm gonna try to go up here and go around this tree. It's got some ruts sticking out and things. I'm gonna try see if I can get get around it. Get a good look at this. It's a good looking unit. I like the 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 red wheels with that green body. I think it looks pretty good. power and i still got the stock everything's stock on this the high it's got the high gears i knew if i was gonna put the i knew i was gonna put the low gears in the bronco i was gonna keep the high gears in the fender so it would still be able to pull and go at a decent walking speed Little running start, never hurt nobody. For what it is, I think it gets around it pretty well. For having no upgrades except tires. No weight or anything. guys we parked the, the defender and the trailer right there back the bronco off have a little circle with it see how it does all right had to switch controllers let's uh back this heavy unit off see if we can get around this tree really good very capable machine but it doesn't have that wheel speed. I think the next upgrade we might do for this is brushless. We're pretty sideways. You can see the lock kit I put on it. Looks really good. Oh no, we saved it. All right, we're still up. Also, I got a bearing kit for it. I haven't put it in yet.
sweet flex. Let's see how far. Let's see how good our uh, front weight bias is. Not very good. I really thought I'd get up there a lot easier. It's not bad. I think them flex, flex blades hold it back a little bit when climbing. See if we can get up and over this area here and then get back on the trailer. Well. You can tell the center of gravity is lower now because it does land on its feet when it rolls over. Is that snake skin? That's crazy. All right, let's get up on this trailer. Easy. Made a couple rounds. We're gonna take the Defender Bronco and trailer back around the back of the house here. We get the lock kit for the Defender neck, probably. See if we can take the long way around, huh? I may go brush this with both of these and make this one just to pull this trailer. So you can't be so scale with this because when you're when I don't it's got all the power it needs it just doesn't have the weight to pull that so you can't be so scale and move slow and watch the uh, suspension articulate and stuff like that because you got to go fast keep your momentum up to go up these hills I'm going to even get stuck going downhill. I'm going to try to turn around here and go back up that right there. I'm just getting up there to it. No. See if we can take the Bronco off of it, see if I do any better. Yeah, Bronco's heavy, man. That trailer's heavy. That Bronco's heavy. These tires are definitely uh, 
more of a rock crawling tire. Not as aggressive. I'm trying to find a way back up to the house without having to pick it up. I'm gonna put bearings in both of these to get rid of that torque twist. I've heard that's what gets rid of it. It gets rid of that stuff, but I don't know. I wanna go through this dirt right here real quick. That'd be cool. I am going to, I dug up right there in front of the garage and got some dirt out of the way. So I'm gonna get the Bronco and drop through that dirt. It'd be sick. See if I can crawl over this stuff. Try not to get stuck. Oh, perfect. Taking the hitch off the Bronco. One of the best things. ready when Traxxas comes out with more TRX 4Ms, different bodies. I want to get like a Chevy body for one of mine, or even like a sport body. Uh oh, see right there is where I need that tire speed. See if I can get over there. Buddy. I don't want to get it too muddy. Get the mud on it. I'm going to get these things back up to the house. Uh, finish my thoughts. I think the Enjoy trailer is a good purchase. It wasn't really a review of it. Just kind of to show it off, show some upgrades that I put on the TRX4Ms. They're good upgrades, they add weight. I think they do help the trucks significantly. Guys, that's really all I wanted to say with this video. Um, I do recommend getting the trailer. Be on the lookout for the next Slash and the Losi video with the DB. Uh, the Tenacity Pro. Guys, I appreciate the huge amount of love and support I've been getting on my videos. I've been trying really hard to put out one video a week. As I just, like I said, I just really appreciate the love and support. And uh, y'all have a good one, guys. We'll talk to you later.